Hey guys, what's up? This is Hussain Tabi and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel HD Design. And uh, today I'm going to discuss uh, our exposure in your scene. Alright, as you see here, I have rendered this one. And the exposure, our exposure or our brighted area can be anywhere. For example, in this scene, these IES lights are making this part too much bright, you know, it's overexposed. Here you can see it's good, but sometimes you have uh, too much light and the curtain detail is not visible. Here you can see this one. Okay, so how you can control them? Most of the time I see that uh, people try to reduce the lighting, but this is not the solution all the time because when you reduce the lighting, it will affect all your scene. Even if for now I control this exposure, it will affect all the scene, but the lighting will not affect too much. Okay. So how you can do that? So the best way to do to control this thing is your color mapping, all right? And this is a good uh, option here in V-Ray. You go to the V-Ray tab and you have color mapping here. Okay, by default, maybe you are rendering with linear workflow or maybe Reinhard or some uh, of these options. But the best which I like is the exponential. All right, so whatever you have here, just change it to exponential. Okay, so you see here this is brighted, but I just changed this to exponential and you will see the result. So let me render this part here so we can compare this and this here. So if I render this with exponential, you will see the brightness is now controlled. All right, you can see the lighting is maintained, but the brightness is controlled here. Okay, it becomes a little bit dark, but that's not an issue. We can solve this with the lighting. We can increase the intensity later on. But this is very nice. I mean, it's controlled very well. Now, if you want a bit of a brightness here, what you can do is you can come up here and you can increase the bright multiplier. Let me make it two. And let's see how it will affect this. So let's turn it again and you can see here we have a more bright light. If you want more you can keep on increasing increasing this one till you find what you are you want to achieve. Okay, I think this is fine because right now we have a grey model. Alright, we have a grey model right now. Once we have a full uh, texture, then you would like to change this again and it will be very helpful. You can see here, alright, this will be gone, see? It's too much bright and now it's gone now if you feel that your uh, light color the temperature effect is uh, affecting with this so you can adjust the color temperature from here right now it is 4000 let me make this 4500 and let's render this much and you see we have the temperature back okay so let me let me now compare let me render this full and i'll get back let me render this one and we'll compare this in our history okay if you don't know about history let me tell you that when you click on the history button when you finish the render it will save here okay so i have already saved my renders here to compare how we'll compare i'll let you know if you are uh, activating the history button for the first time in your 3ds max then you have to activate and then you have to go and save here the first uh, the very first thing you have to save here you have to activate this it will ask you the path give anywhere where you have a maximum space like uh, your d drive c drive whatever you want and there you will create a folder a uh, history folder so this all will be saved there okay so now it is rendering and when this render is finished it will save this here after this finish, I'll show you all the renders which we did right now. It is all saved here. And then we'll compare the very first one which I showed you in starting and uh, this render. And then we'll change again the settings. I'll get back to you once this is finished. Okay, so the render is finished. Okay, this one is the first render. This one 
we did the last render i don't want this one ah this one also i don't want i don't want this one too this is the second one i guess okay now this one is the first one and this one what we have now okay this part is i want to decrease a bit more two okay and let's render okay so this is almost finished and uh, this one i would like to delete the last one so we have this one here and we have this one here so you can see the difference okay the lighting and everything is maintained here okay the brightest brightness is not uh, too much and is equalized like here you will see this is over brighted area I have over exposure same like this here you can see seeing this render it is maintained so if you feel that in your uh, area here if it is more bright and the cutting detail is not visible or something you should always change your color mapping settings rather than investing or wasting time uh, in controlling your light your sun your texture the first thing you should do is your uh, uh, type in the color mapping section okay you can uh, increase the dark darkness also here increase decrease the level of darkness and the brightness here the good thing is it is changing overall i mean there is nothing a particular bright spot here uh, this is so well maintained if you feel that this is too much orange or uh, too much warm here then this thing will be controlled by your camera also here you have a um, uh, white balance in your scene you come here and you choose this color whatever you want to maintain okay I don't want too much and then let me render only this part and you will see the difference see it's gone now your gray color is back okay so let's render full and I'll show you with white balance changed how it will look I'll get back once this is finished. All right, guys. So this is almost finished now. And now we'll compare our first one with this one. Okay. So now you see this was before, and this is now my textures are back and the light is maintained. So this was the very first over brighted area with a lot of uh, color tint of this particular light is in the overall scene. And now without the tint of the light is uh, the tint of the light is controlled now and uh, the exposure is also controlled okay so this is how you can control the white balance in your scene with your camera how you can uh, use this option here color mapping to change your uh, scene now in his history uh, you have one more option here click on A with this and click on B with this and you can compare so this one which we saw before and this is after the texture are maintaining this the gray tone and the light is maintained so this is enough for this class and we we'll see you in the next class inshallah I'll show you that how we can control these splotches in the scene this will be my next topic so don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this tutorial and in any case if this helps you okay and uh, i'll see you soon thanks take care guys